Welcome to this technical advanced tutorial in which we're going to deal with the different aspects and features of uh, the VR hand tracking um, script for VR, okay? For virtual reality. So um, let me just start by saying that we have uh, different scenes. We have five and um, they are ordered uh, regarding all the steps we have uh, followed in order to get to the final stage that will be the the case we have uploaded for you um, to download and try in, in the APK okay in the asset store so let's go um, scene by scene checking the different features and explain how it works so the first scene is just um, a simple um, stage and we will have uh, the canvas Okay, and inside the canvas we have a panel and then we have the hand detector. Okay, so in, in this script here you can see the we have the, uh, the image and uh, and if you go to um, yeah to the camera renderer in that place we have set the script that is going to manage the uh, the binarization okay of the image. Binarization means that we're going to um, I'm going to show it just um, by clicking play, we're going to um, to get the image from the webcam, and then we're going to transform it into uh, another image that is um, composed by uh, ones and zeros, as you can see. Okay, so I'm I'm using now my hand in order to move uh, along the screen, and we are um, changing all the environment, all the image into uh, this is my other hand the one that is not using any, any gloves. So in fact, I'm using one black glove in my hand, okay, in order to, to, track, it, uh, to track it better. So uh, the most important feature is as I'm getting close to the camera, as you can see, the red square is going to be, uh, be bigger. And as I'm getting far away of the uh, camera, the red square is, is getting smaller. And you can see how tracking is, is really fluid. So in fact, um, we're going to use that measurement of the of the size of that square, okay, in future um, examples to place the hand uh, at a certain distance of our headset. That's the main idea. So um, if you want to check the scripts, okay, uh, you will see that they are all commented. But in fact, I'm going just to explain a little bit how it works. Um, we have a lot of um, variables that are used for the camera parameters that uh, are the the uh, webcam texture here you can see then we have um, the video cam material that is just an un unlit um, texture that is used to plot the information of the camera after the binarization and then um, we have uh, the x and y hand that are the most important variables that are going to store the position of the hand at each moment okay so this is the first stage you have to understand this to go ahead to the next scenes and start building things up so the next step will be applying this information of the camera okay to a more complex situation in which we want to introduce a hand into the game so you can see um this hand object here that we have created with a with a collider and rigid body and all that. In fact, it's going to move as you you have seen uh, before with the um, with the red square. But in this case, we are um, uh, sending that information to a game object in the in the scene. Okay, I'm going to hit play while while I'm explaining some different things. <clears throat> As you can see, we have uh, the hand tracking in cam that is going to be the same script as before with slightly different um, variables. So you can see how my hand now it's in the game and I'm able to interact with things. For example, if I get farther of, of the headset, okay, you can see that I can push that uh, red uh, box and throw it into the ground. Okay, so that's the main idea. Okay, you can see that um, as I move my hand right or left, I can I, I can interact with things. So uh, with this tool, uh, we are we are not now um, getting uh, to another um, virtual experience in which we, we we are able to introduce our information, our body information. In this case, the the information of our hand without uh, buying extra things. Okay. The main point about this package is that that we are going to um, to be able to uh, reproduce a really similar behavior to using a, 
um, another haptic uh, element, but without uh, buying those those things. Okay. So as I've said before, we have the hand tracking uh, camera that is the same script as before, but in this case, as you can see, we are referring to the hand object that is going to be the game object in the scene. So uh, be aware of that, that you have to reference to that object that you can edit and change uh, as you want. Okay. About the um, the white thing around it, we're going to explain that in a minute. Okay. So um, let's go to the next scene that is going to be a little bit more complex in which we're going to start um, interacting. Yeah. Interacting with um, buttons. Okay. So I'm going to hit play and I'm going to show you what is happening now. Now we're going to have three different buttons that we um, we are going to use to uh, play one sound, open a door, and finally spawn uh, some objects. Okay. So uh, let me just show you the environment. We have the play sound button there, the open door, and the spawn object. Let's start with the open door. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take our hand next to the the button there. Okay. And you're going to see that that uh, loading bar is going to appear. So in fact, as you can see, we, we have um, with this script we have created the the, the effect of the um, the loading bar uh, when when our hand it's getting to a collider. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with the play sound. Okay. So I'm going I'm going to take my hand there. Oh, okay. And let's see. Welcome to VR hand tracking from Cardboard Bodies. Okay, so you can hear my voice there. Okay, so uh, you can you can see that um, the uh, functionality of the function uh, <laughs> it's a bit redundant. I'm sorry. The functionality of of these calls are practically the same, but we are doing different things. In this case, for example, if I do the same process with the span object, you will see that I'm doing um, another action. So in fact. Okay, you can see that it's, it's, it's a loop, it's going to repeat. So in fact, um, what we have done is as users want to perform different actions, but um, keeping uh, this initial um, behavior, okay, uh, we, we, we have uh, implemented a function in, will, in which you can go ahead and say uh, what you really want to do. For example, if you go to the bottom, you have the trigger object that is going to be the script that manages all that that movement uh, or the movement of the door, the the um, the noise and the, the spawn of the of an object, and you can go ahead in, in the action um, variable and select whatever you want. And according according to that selection, you will have to set the, these variables here. Okay. So um, for the open door, you can see that we have an animation and we have selected the animation of the future door. Okay. And then uh, if you want to check the button spawn, you will see that we have uh, the spawn object. And in this case, we are uh, selecting a prefab model uh, here that we're going to spawn and the position of the spawn. Okay, there's going to be up, okay, in, in the ceiling, okay? So this is how this, this scene works. Um, if we go to the, um, the next scene, okay, we are going to, um, to get to, um, different way of interacting with objects. In the last case, we were just pressing a button and then creating a function that by the way you can you can create your own functions. Okay, we had an option there that it was uh, other. So you can use it to create there your, your things. Okay, so in this other scene, in fact, we can do the same thing. Okay, we can pick objects like that. Okay, we can move the objects I'm moving now my head. Okay, and you can see how the, the weapon goes. And as you can see, we can we can place them again into a different position or into a same position. Okay. So for example, I'm going to to get now the um, the gun. As you can see that the the place that has appeared was the same one. Okay. So in fact, in this other scene, we have the basic tools to pick objects and leave them in a different place or in, at the same place, and that is done by another script that we have added to the object that is pick object and then you can say okay we want the object in place or we want the object in a new position okay so you can see the difference the m4 rifle it's uh, in a position return while the handgun is in place okay I'm going just to show you how it was if, if you missed it 
the gun was in the same position we wanted to return the gun at the same position and in the case of the M4 uh, rifle uh, you are going to see that the position that is displayed by that green um, mesh is going to change okay so this is quite cool because you are able to interact with object with your hands and um, you're going to to be able to move things from one place to another okay and you have here all the information to do so okay um, I think I don't want to save this okay let's go to the the other part I, I'm, I'm really excited about this these things because it's really cool I think nobody has done this and I think you, you are able to build really really nice games using these experiences but well it, it's up to you up to you to consider buy, buying this package because um, ourselves we are trying to develop our own game based on this because we believe that it's going to be quite revolutionary okay so um, in this scene we want to create like the puzzle model game in which we want to build things from uh, mm, small pieces let's let's just show you how it works so for example here we're going to build a gun I'm going to move my hand uh, to pick something I'm going to pick uh, this gun part here and you're going to see how a green part appears I'm, I'm able to place it there okay I'm going to pick another part of the weapon and you're going to see how it works it's going to pick it up and it's going to appear a, a green part there okay that is going to say to the user okay you have to place the the part of the weapon in that position I'm going to 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 get the last part I'm going to try to get closer okay I'm going to close my hand okay and I'm going to leave that there so we have built like a puzzle okay uh, with the weapons uh, or the part of the weapons in order to build a whole object so uh, this is a really cool feature that you can apply in your own game to build puzzles using your hand etc this is has a bunch a bunch of future applications okay so um, I think this is all about it. About I uh, know we, we have another we have another scene. Okay, <laughs> it's the best scene. So um, to finish up um, talking about the puzzle example, um, I'm going to show you how simple is the code. Uh, we have three parts of of the weapons that are here. One uh, part one, two, and three, and we have also three reference positions that are going to be the uh, latest par uh, position where the the each of, of that part is going to to be uh, positioned so um, what we are doing here is um, repeating repeating the same script and the same interaction between uh, picking objects and uh, returning objects as in the third scene but in this case all of the objects as you can see have a position return and are not in place so we can use that script to um, change the position of the objects and build this stuff in this case building a weapon or we can build a, a big puzzle or whatever you can you can imagine so this is how it works and it works with the same scripts so in fact it we, we have tried to make um, a wide range of possibilities for developers to build their own stuff okay and let me just go to the final point the final scene of this package that I believe is is I'm sorry about saying this, uh, but it's really cool. I believe this is going to change the conception of VR because look at this. We're able to, first of all, um, pick objects, as I said before. Okay. We're able to return. Well, sorry, it's, it's because I'm speaking. I'm going to be quiet for a second, okay? Because I have, I have to explain something to you. Okay, so you're going to see that while I'm speaking, the uh, the weapon is going to to fire. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, I'm going to leave the weapon. Okay, so what what has just happened? In fact, in this scene, what we're doing is using all the latest scenes to create a more complex one in which you are able to have the basic stuff to build your own shooter in which you can 
pick up weapons and shoot by noise. As you, you have seen, I was speaking and at the same time the weapon was shooting. Okay, I'm going to repeat it again. I'm going to be quiet and I'm going just to say bang, bang. <laughs> that is, okay, like the common uh, sentence you use to, to shoot, okay? With the weapon at your, at your left. Bang, 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 okay, so, um, okay, I think it's clear enough, um, in this case, we have added the feature of shooting with, um, the microphone, in fact, so, uh, how have we achieved this? So, um, if you go to the, um, the GVR main, we have added in this scene um, micro meme volume. So, in fact, this uh, script is just taking the information of the microphone and it's going to, um, to, to set a variable in which we're going to store the meme value for a certain amount of time. So, using that information in the second script that is on the guns, we have the weapon shot by micro. So in this part, we are access. Uh, we have access to the main value of the the um, the previous script, and we are um, instance uh, creating an instance of a bullet object that is going to move forward. It's just that simple. Okay. So in fact, just to sum up, we have seen uh, five different scenes that have different degree of complexity uh, that we have implemented for you in order to make you easy under to understand the different steps you need to take in order to build a completely uh, new and completely uh, unchallenged, I will say, um, package, okay, in which you are able to move your hands, interact with objects, and build this cool shooter at the end. So. I hope you uh, you consider downloading our package. I have tried to be as clear as possible in the in this technical tutorial. If you have any questions, I believe the scripts are well commented. But if you want to write us directly to Michael Point Soler Point Beatty uh, at gmail.com, we'll be glad to answer to your questions. Um, well, just say that we are really 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 incredibly happy of of being able to up up uh, load this this package for you because uh, we believe that this is going to make um, a difference in in cardboard uh, because um, in this case you are not going to use your pads you are not going to be uh, forced to buy any motion uh, hap, hap, haptic uh, bullshit, sorry about the expression, and you are going to be able to perform similarly to those things without making your users spend money, money in other things. So you are going to be able to use what you have that are your hands. Well, you, you will need to use a black... Mm, a black glove or something covering your hand or maybe you can you can test with the black and white binary test uh, the binarization options to set the color you want to use um, in your game so you have those options to build a great game without zero cost so thanks very much and I hope you download this package <laughs>